Eric DIY here with another instructional DIY video for you. Today we're going to increase the output temperature on this Delta Monitor Multi-Choice 1314 faucet, shower faucet if you will. Even at full crank on the hot setting has been pretty low. It's been like this since we bought the house about four years ago and I've been meaning to get to it but we didn't get to it today. On my model, I couldn't find a little port that I would lift up to get to the hex wrench. It's actually the handle right here. I'm gonna turn it to the left to take it off. And the hex wrench screw is right on the inside there. You can't see it, but it's in there. So we're gonna need a hex wrench to take off this handle. No matter what your handle looks like, usually on these deltas, you're gonna need a 332nd hex wrench. Put it in the little screw and you're gonna twist to the left. Again, this is a very little screw. So make sure that you keep track of where it is and make sure that you plug up the drain hole down below. So that way there's nothing that's gonna fall down the drain and cause problems. And you can see that's what the little screw looks like right there. So put that to the side and don't lose it because that's how this handle stays locked down there. Also note where uh, visual cues on where this is off. So I know, I know that the hole is at three o'clock right where it says off uh, to put the handle back on the right way. Now that you have the screw out, you're just gonna pull the handle off by pulling on it. Notice that it has a certain way of going on the valve, so you're gonna be all set there. Our next step is there's a little disc right here. We're gonna pull that out. Again, you might wanna use some vinegar to get the corrosion off of it if it's been a long time and it's hard to pull, but you'll just have to inch it out, rock it a little bit left and right so it gets loose. And then you're gonna be dealing with this little wheel right here, which is the mixing valve. You're gonna lift it out of there. And if it's hard to lift out, you can pull this out a little bit. It might loosen up that plastic piece, but make sure you push it back in. We lift it out. You see the teeth? We're gonna rotate it counterclockwise for hotter water and go uh, clockwise if you want colder water, but we want hotter water. I'm gonna rotate it till the teeth let me get at the hottest setting, right about there. Then I'm gonna push the outer disc back in there's a little arrow here, by the way, that will tell you where you are on the setting here. Push the little disc on the outside back in, so that way it locks that in there and it can't move. All the way in. If you don't install this back in there, you're gonna have problems because this thing will pop out and potentially things can happen there. After we do that, we're gonna reassemble the handle again when it goes a certain way. So I memorized that this was at three o'clock. It's on there. We're then gonna take our little hex screw and put it back in the hole. Rotate it to the right till it's all the way down. Don't have to be like, you know, He-Man tough or anything on this. Just righty-tighty till it's snug. Final step again is just to screw the handle back in. Righty-tighty. I got the drain open. I have a glass there. We're gonna test the water. We're gonna turn it to hot all the way. And I get a temperature on our thermometer here. Give it some time to build up though. That's pretty hot already because I've already done this twice, so. Again, you don't want anywhere near 120. 100 is really hot already. We're at about 100 right now, and it's it's pretty hot. So we'll see how far it climbs. Ooh, that's really, really hot. <laughs> so I did it all the way to the hottest setting, and we're up to about 118 right now. So I'm gonna have to go in there yet one more time and just dial it back one, because we're at 120 degrees. Yeah, that, that would that'd be a scolding burn. 107, 108, 109, so around there is pretty good. That is how you adjust the temperature at the faucet handle of the water coming out of your shower. Again, this was performed on a Delta 1314 multi-choice faucet. The 17 is a lot like it. In fact, the actual manual of it is the same. It's just a different way of pulling off parts, but this will give you a general idea of, at least on Delta faucets, that you have to get in there Get a little knot and then there's a little wheel that you have to touch to adjust the, the temperature. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, please give us a thumbs up and push that subscribe button below while you're down there. Also push on the bell notification icon so that way you'll be notified of future Eric DIY video releases. We appreciate all your support. Thank you and have a great day. As always, if you like this video, found it useful, please subscribe. And if you have a product that you would like to review, Please contact Eric by emailing him at eric5150diy at gmail.com. Have a great day.